Hello, this is Keith Owen. Welcome back. And today we're going to learn about how to utilize two different functions to get the results that you want. Uh, uh, first, uh, we're going to use the filter function to return a certain range of data. And then from that range of data, we're going to choose the specific columns that we want returned. So uh, let me go ahead and uh, delete this and redo it. So first we're going to be use, utilizing this formula here. So we're going to use the filter function to return to us all records where the quarter sales is going uh, is going to be greater than 200,000. So it's going to be filter function. And then the first argument to the filter function is an array. In other words, what do we want to return after it evaluates the second argument in the filter function? So we want to return all columns, okay, comma. And then what do we want to include within this range that we just selected? Well, in this case, we want to include all sales that are greater than $200,000. And then the last argument to the filter function is optional. We're not going to use it today, but basically what it is, is if the filter function doesn't find any records, what do we want to return instead? So we could have a, a, a separate message returned. So we're not going to use that today, but press enter. So out of this data set, out of this range that we selected, it returned these number of records, but it included all the columns because in the filter function that we just used, I selected all the columns in this data set. That's why it returned all the columns. Now let's say we only want to return a certain number of columns out of that. Well, the choose cows function can accomplish that. First of all, the choose cows uh, function, it extracts specific columns from an array or range of data. And then it returns a new array containing only the selected columns that we specify in the function. So over here, uh, we did that, so let's uh, uh, let's build this from scratch. So we're going to use the choose cows function. Tab into that. The first argument of the choose cows function is an array. So what we're going to do is we're first going to filter the array out of here. We're going to build the same filter function here, uh, uh, syntax here. So we're going to select the data set. And now we want to include only those records that quarter one sales is greater than $200,000. So that's the first part of the choose cows function. It cre uh, we're creating an array. Now, out of this returned array from this filter function, what columns do we want to return? Instead of returning every single one of these columns, we want to select the specific columns that we want. And each argument afterwards is going to be uh, optional. You don't necessarily have to uh, choose three columns or four columns or whatnot. We're going to choose two columns in this case. So we're going to choose the first column, which is department, and then we're going to choose the last column, which is six. So in this case, we're choosing six because there's six columns of data within this range here. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. We're going to close off the choose cows uh, function, and there you go. And that's how you can incorporate two functions to get the results that you want. Hopefully, uh, this tutorial, short tutorial, gave you a better understanding how you could take the filter function and then uh, 
bring that filter function into the choose cows functions to get the more detailed results that you want. I want to thank you for stopping by today. Please subscribe and like this video, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye now.